Hey, today we are going to be opening up my Jane's Agenda subscription box for November and adding some stuff to my planner. So, thank you for joining me. I love getting these boxes and it has a little tour card in it with all the things that are in here. We're just going to set that aside for now. And I'm going to pull out some of these goodies. And, oh my gosh, cool, these, okay, I might take the plastic off, oh my gosh, it's cute beanie, okay, I'm going to take the plastic off so it's not so noisy, and then I will come back and go through these. Okay, I tried not to peek too much while I was doing that, but I'm so excited, because <laughs> there were some things that Jane showed us in the little previews and some things she didn't, so... One of the things that's so fun is this colored pencil set and an eraser. I, and I think there's also some coloring pages in here from Jane. So that's first is these pencils, a little eraser. All right, and then just some note cards to decorate your planner with. I love this one about autumn. Autumn is my season, dear. It is, after all, the season of the soul. So fun, and I love the plaid around it. Um, November, and thankful, grateful, blessed. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use the things for November or start using them right now, since they came earlier this month than normal, but we shall find out. Oh, one other card. Mm, okay, that is pretty too. And you can always use more sticky notes. I love how these ones say, I'm grateful for. And, oh, I did not... I did not open these out of the plastic. Oops. Let's take this out. And these are just some fun shiny gold stickers that are perfect for fall. So pretty. Let's put the sticky notes behind so we can kind of see some candles, leaves. I always need more leaves for my spreads. Butterflies, acorns. I love how they have that gold foiling around them. So fun. And I think, oh no, they are a little bit different. Like this one has some kind of a bottle, like old, old fashioned looking bottle and a candlestick and ribbon, some pine cones, but still lots of leaves and acorns. Oh, this one has pumpkins. These are so pretty. I'm so excited to use these and always love the open books, how that works. So pretty, oh my gosh. Okay. Fun, fun. We don't usually get stickers and we've never gotten a beanie. This is so cute. I might have to try it on for the camera. I don't usually like have my face on these videos, but I'll try to at least put a picture on or something <laughs> when I edit. Um, this bookmark, gorgeous. Hello, fall. So, so pretty. Oh, and it's gonna look so great with all the layered stuff. All right, so if you've watched any of my videos or know anything about Jane's Agenda, there's several, there's three different kinds of boxes you can get, and one that's just kind of the the extra goodies like the pencils and cute hat and stuff, and then one that's just your covers, and um, one that combines all of those. So these, I believe, are from the extra goodies. I'm gonna get rid of this box. Um, Oh, okay, do I go through the extra goodies first or the cover? Okay, I'll do the cover. <laughs> Fun. Okay, so this is the November cover. So pretty. I think it's pretty much the same front and back. And then there's always, okay, this one set of dashboard that is that comes with the cover. So if you were getting the cover club, it would be just these plus the bookmark. I think the bookmark okay and then of course you can get the whole box of everything which is gonna have all these extra goodies and so you can layer these oh my gosh that one's pretty um and you can pick which one do I oh oh that one mm, see I might switch to that I don't know I've been loving my like green witch vibe from my current planner oh uh, cover which was actually August, but I've been using it for all of, um, 
September, October. And, and I just love, I don't know, I love the vibes of it. Um, it goes with my, let's see if I can open it up to my October. Yeah, like I did like this October spread, kind of this like green witch theme. My current week, which I love. It's probably one of my favorites um, for the month. Anyways, but season is changing and maybe I switch to this. We'll see, it's start, I mean, it leaves are starting to turn here. Um, or maybe I wait for November, I don't know. <laughs> there was a really pretty October cover too, but um, it reminded me more, I mean, I know these are like some kind of dried flowers, but it reminded me more of like a winter vibe. So I might use that one later on, but Anyways, this is the November, which I think would work great for my second half of October if I can part from my other cover, which I love. <laughs> this subscription box is great for people with ADHD because you can just keep switching your cover every month. But sometimes I'm attached. Like, I might, I don't know. And you don't have to get the box every month either. So I might just switch to, you know, well, I don't know. I do What I do right now is just get whichever ones I think are super pretty. And, <laughs> but I think I like the idea of like uh, setting up the, the planner quarterly because that's kind of how I do things anyways. But all right, okay, moving on, moving on. There's these two beautiful things. It can be the front and back cover. Ooh, that just makes a beautiful front and back cover. I might, I might be switching to that now. Okay. And then there's extra dashboards because, um, they give you extra dashboards so that you can use them throughout the planner or you can use them layered with your cover. So, and the same with this vellum, they always include some kind of a pretty vellum. And this one says leaves flutter like whispers of fall. Like, I mean, how pretty is that too? You could, that would make a great layer or even, oh, that's so pretty together. I mean, you could totally layer that too. Or these pumpkins. Wow, I mean, so many good options with those. Um, and I mean, and you could layer these with the cover too. The leaves flutter like this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see? Mm. Okay, so many options. <laughs> I've got to show the, the other one too. What it would look like with the leaves flutter, like this because I fall. Okay. See, so many beautiful, beautiful um, options there. Okay. So, the other fun things that, um, that she included. Um, are things that I haven't really seen in her include before. And first is these coloring sheets. And I love that they came now. They're kind of like their cardstock. So, and the side doesn't have anything on it. It's blank. But um, they go with the pencils. And you could color them for the holidays. Like, and so I have them early so I can start now, start later. Oh, I love these gnomes <laughs> and these ornaments. Okay, those are all so pretty and they could go in a holiday book. And usually I have a planner set up kind of just for December. And this was my one from last year. These are some actually really pretty covers from Jane that layered very nicely. And I just kind of have, I think I have a few, all of, yeah, all of these together. These are from previous the last two years of of them and then I have some of these like well happy planner pages in here where you can make a gift list um and then just some blank dot grid and lined ones um this is from last I think years Jan's agenda box for the holidays um but this like yeah I just have like a place to put Christmas and stocking stuffer and I hang on to this one because so this is my last year's so that I know what I got everybody last year <laughs> but these would make a great addition to this year's and I could even throw some extra dividers because I have 
some extra glass dividers to actually divide up these kind of pages. Okay, okay, I'm excited, but let me let me keep going. <laughs> okay, so we've got these. And then the last thing here is these holiday planning pages. And you could also color these. It's so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's we've got a holiday bucket list. And then this Christmas countdown, which I guess you're like maybe coloring one of these in for all the days leading up to Christmas. I think that's what you do. Oh, and then the 25th would be the star. Oh, how fun. All right, that's fun. I was wondering what the difference was <laughs> between the two Christmas trees. This one is similar, but it doesn't have, I mean, it has different kinds of ornaments, a little more detail and stuff. So this one's just strictly a coloring one. I mean, or... I don't know, you could color one of these for everything you do on the bucket list or something fun. Um, but this one is the countdown to Christmas. So fun. Oh, I'm excited to do some coloring. All right, so here we've got stocking stuffer ideas. Yay, so I don't need to get those pages again from that I had gotten from the Happy Planner in the past because I've got this right here. So all the peoples in stocking stuffers. I've got six kids. I've got six stocking stuffer persons here. So that's perfect. Um, my wish list. Nice. You deserve the same love and care you give to everyone else. Don't forget to gift it to yourself. Fun. Okay. My wish. More of my wish list. <laughs> Sometimes the most meaningful gifts are the ones that bring a smile to your own soul. All right. And here is close friends and family. Oh, this works so good because yeah stocking stuffers i usually do for my kids and then i have like all my um family okay so oh, okay this is a person and so item price and where you're getting it if you've bought it if you've wrapped it 12 i don't think i'm getting everybody 12 presents but <laughs> let's see how many people here in here one two three, four so that's four five six seven eight oh so that's enough that's perfect for like me, my hubby, and the six kiddos. Um, extended family and friends, because I do get gifts for all of, you know, siblings, parents, and my parents, his parents, etc. Um, a gift is not just a thing, but a moment of joy shared between hearts. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. All right. More extended family and friends and a budget. So important. <laughs> Um, all right, holiday budget, total planned, total actual spent, and then we've got gifts, decorations, parties, food. I like that those are included, the food and stuff, travel, charitable giving, miscellaneous, savings. Oh, I see. So this is if you're looking for stuff you got on sale or a discount, other, or just any kind of savings. I was wondering, I'm like, wait, what are we saving for on our holiday budget? But I see. Okay. And then more notes about that. Gift budget per person. Black Friday deals. If there's things you need to keep track of that we want to look for for Black Friday. More Black Friday deals. Online order tracker. Oh, that's so helpful because I always forget like what I've ordered and when it's supposed to come and all of that fun stuff. So awesome, you can see when it's shipped, you, or mark when it's shipped, mark when it's delivered. Any notes about that? Awesome. And then, oh, some just fun lined paper with ribbons. That is, oh my gosh, that what a fun section. So you could just have this be like a section in your happy planner, or if you do like a whole separate little planner like I do, that's just for the holidays. And it kind of, yeah, I mean, either way, it works good. I go, I kind of go back and forth because it would be really nice to just have it be a section in the happy planner, but also do I need to pack that around with me for the next couple months? Maybe not. I can just, you know, grab this off my shelf whenever I'm looking at Christmas stuff. So, and actually that goes really well with from, from last month's Jane's agenda, um, thing, a holiday meal planning pack. Um, and this, I mean, it could be for, Christmas or you know Thanksgiving or any holiday really it doesn't say um a specific one but um yeah hmm maybe I'll put this in my holiday planner too fun okay
exciting stuff oh my gosh you guys what a fun fun box this time i'm so excited to add it to my planner it's gonna take a little playing around with to figure out which cover i'm using and all of that fun stuff um i'm gonna put these of course i'll just throw my little bookmark right in there because it's awesome and um yeah all the fun stickers and i can't wait to use the colored pencils and this awesome hat it was such a cool box all right i'm gonna play with it a little bit and i will show you um what i come up with okay i put my cover on so you guys can watch me flip through um but i haven't completely decided <laughs> you can help me decide so i really love the pumpkins layered with the leaves doesn't this quote card look so cute here okay but I also like just the leaf layered with the leaves. I don't know. I can't decide. I just think the colors go so well with this card. But, like, these colors do too. Oh, because it kind of brings out, like, the white of that. Whereas this one, I think, kind of brings out the blue. I don't know how much you guys think. I'm just leaving both of them in here for now till I decide. Um, and then I scattered the rest of them throughout here, like added the waterfall to the beginning of my um, vision book part. Um, oh, I already had this one from last box by my wheel of the year, which sadly my water bottle spilled in my bag and got this wet. I need to make a new one of these. Anyways, all right. Um, that's still from last time too, but um, okay my kids stuff section because there is a lot to keep track of with a senior um just my own scheduling okay that's from last month and then reading I decided to add the um leaves letter to this one from last month because I just saw the Emily Bronte quote from a reading section so pretty and then I just like that for the the back cover I just think yeah that is so pretty. It could be front cover too, but it's back cover, which when I have it in and in, slid into this one, you don't really see it, but I love how it all turned out. So pretty. I'll still have to decide and maybe I don't have to decide. I'll just do this for a few weeks and then do this for a few weeks or something since I did kind of set this up early, but I just felt like this looked so much like fall, like more than the October cover, like the October cover, I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it, yeah, it's more, yeah, it's more wintry, although I could probably throw this in my book too, I think I have space for this, anyways, fun times, um, I hope you like the video, um, if you are, if you aren't currently getting Jane's Agenda, I will leave, um, my affiliate link in, um, the description, and either way, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thanks for watching. Okay, if you're still here. Um, yeah, I forgot I was going to show you how I also put together the holiday thing. So I have, you know, a couple years worth of beautiful, you know, um, dashboards and covers and stuff from Jan's Agenda. Um, I did decide to go with this cover layered with this dashboard because it just, I don't know, it's so Christmassy. It just looks so pretty. Um, so this is my little just Christmas prep notebook for my actual date book. I'm guessing maybe for Christmas I'll, I'll do something like that. I don't know, haven't decided. And of course, very likely that Jane will also have something super pretty out for this Christmas. So, I'll, you know, might change my mind. Um, but um it is sometime okay yeah so that for back cover this for front something like that for my actual date book but for my christmas fling or christmas planning notebook it's this guy and then right here is going to be the holiday planning portion with all of the um fun wish lists and stocking stuffers etc um here is is just some extra gift list paper and stuff. And then 
coming to this part, we've got the meal planning portion. Make sure that's centered. Okay, meal planning pack. Um, and then this guy is the um, just blank dotted paper. Find the blank dotted paper. And then here we've got the blank lined paper. And then here we've got the last holiday, so I can remember what I did. Anyways, it's so fun using all of those with my shiny um, <laughs> to clear dividers. And now I've got to color these um, because, yeah, they'll look cute colorful. Although it does look pretty black and white as well. But it'll be fun to color. I especially love these gnomes. <laughs> They're so cute. But yeah, so that's how I ended up putting all of that together. We've got the meal planning, the um, uh, and just basic holiday planning. Anyways, there we go. Holiday planning notebook. So pretty. Just gonna make me happy to look at and pull out. This is the back cover. Also, just super pretty layers of um, cover and dashboards from Jane's Agenda. So, yeah, that was the actual end of the video now. So, <laughs> I'm glad you stuck around. I'll talk to you soon.